The nuclear boom is here. And thankfully we're not talking about a bomb, we're talking about energy baby. Green, efficient, save the planet kind of energy. So as the world once again starts embracing nuclear energy, which resource could soar over the coming years, potentially creating a mega boom for investors? It's uranium, I'm Biko Konstantinos and that's what we're going to talk about today. Did you know that uranium first originated from the planet Uranus? Actually it didn't, but I'm sure something came from Uranus. Sorry I can't stop saying Uranus. Now as well as covering the housing market, I look for the big action in the investment space and currently there's some major action occurring in uranium. So if you'd like to be kept up to date on the major financial markets, why don't you subscribe to my channel? I'll put the research in so you'll know what's going on. Now why could uranium be about to enter a massive Massive boom period. Because it's ultra clean. So clean. <laughs> you know that feeling after the dentist has ravaged your teeth type clean? That feeling when you have a shower after a long day at the beach type clean? Or even those extremely rare occasions when you go to wipe your bum and the toilet paper comes out completely clean type clean. Nuclear energy protects the air quality and as such protects the environment. And that's because it's a zero emission clean energy source. And the more clean energy sources that are used, the less carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere, which currently is one of the main objectives of countries across the entire globe to combat the effects of global warming and climate change. And whatever your personal thoughts are in regards to climate change and renewable energies, there's no doubt that there's a coordinated global push. Second, Nuclear energy's land footprint is very small. It can produce more electricity on less land than any other clean energy source. So compared to wind farms and solar panels, nuclear energy does not require a large footprint of land to be able to produce high levels of electricity. And finally, Nuclear energy produces minimal waste. Yes, you have to be careful with how you deal with that waste, but because it's so dense, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Many people are put off from nuclear energy due to some of the disasters in the past. We had the Ukraine Chernobyl disaster in 1986, and then more recently, the Fukushima Japan disaster in 2011. So for a number of years, uranium miners were completely out of favor and traded at very low levels. But now, with improved technology and safety for nuclear power, the tide seems to be shifting as the world embraces clean energy. Now let's consider the merits of investing into a sector that has the potential to boom. Well one of the best results is that you can make massive amounts of profit in relatively short periods of time. What normally happens with investment booms is that there's some sort of catalyst or change in the investment landscape that creates additional investment investment demand into a specific sector and that investment demand can grow and grow and become a full-blown boom. So what do I mean? Well here's a couple of recent examples. Recently medicinal marijuana started to really grab worldwide attention as it was being used and accepted more and more as a treatment for various ailments. So because of this global acceptance and use as a treatment, companies involved in producing medicinal marijuana, which saw many of their share prices rise extremely sharply. Another example is lithium miners, because lithium is one of the main elements used for rechargeable batteries that are used in electric vehicles, and with the explosion of demand for Tesla cars etc, producers of lithium saw massive investment demand which saw some of their share prices rise astronomically. So investing into sectors that do go on to boom can be extremely profitable. Now investment sector booms normally go like this. At the start when they're relatively unloved, some of what we call the smart money, which is large institutions, start making calculated investments because they can see a potential future. As time goes on and that smart money starts lifting share prices, more everyday investors start noticing and they start accumulating more into that sector. As prices continue rising higher and higher, it just feeds on itself and more and more investors want to get in on the action. And this normally leads to a blow off type top where everyone's trying to get in on it and they start paying ridiculous prices more than the actual investment should be worth and that's usually when the boom ends. So if you are looking into a sector 
sector that you thought might boom, you probably want to get in before every man and his dog wants to get in. So the earlier in the boom cycle you get in, the better. And because these sector related booms can see extreme volatility and a blow off at the end, it's important to have an exit strategy because if you hold on to some of these specific sector related investments, you can end up losing all your profits or even worse. Could uranium be the next sector to boom? Now I'm not suggesting anyone to invest into this sector. In fact, I'd never tell anyone to invest into anything. I'm just showing you what's currently happening and considering the potential for the future. Here's a look at the share price of the largest uranium related ETF or exchange traded fund and it's called Global X Uranium ETF and it has the stock code of URA. As you can see, this ETF was in the doldrums for many years and spiked low after COVID, but since then has recovered extremely sharply. And if we look at recent trading, we can see it's been on a real tear. Now, if we look at two very well-known Australian uranium producers, their charts look very similar. Here we have Paladin Energy, and you can see massive recent demand. And here we have Deep Yellow Limited, and it's also seen amazing recent demand. The amazing thing about seeing such strong strength into a sector is that the overall global stock markets have actually been trending low. So if you're savvy enough to invest into a sector that's rising strongly independent of the overall stock market, you can do extremely well and maybe counteract some of the losses you're getting from the overall market. Now you might see that the share prices have risen very strongly and think it's too late, I've missed the boom. But you need to remember that the share prices of many of those stocks were coming off extreme lows because they were out of favor for so long. And also, I don't think it's mainstream news that uranium's been going up strongly, I would assume at this stage only a small amount of the investment community would actually be aware of this recent trading. The media can actually sometimes be your best friend. For example, if you start seeing a sector related investment all over the news, it might be time to start exiting your position because you know by then that the boom could be at the later stages because it's got to the point of investment saturation. So as the world clamors for more nuclear energy to help with their zero emissions target, Target, the uranium sector, including producers and explorers, may just see the next investment boom. I'm Bico Constantinos. <laughs>